Good afternoon, scrappers. CC Scraps. What is happening? Been a minute. Uh, but anyway, we're going to uh, start out. I just want to say I was talking about a surprise on the channel of what I was going to start doing along with dumpster diving. Like, I'm never going to stop that. I'm never going to stop scrapping metal. I love it. It's just one of those things we're still going to curbside. But I'm going to start restoring old tools. Or try to, anyway. This is my first one. It's this beat down hammer. We're going to get it cleaned up. As you can see, uh, the handle's jacked up. I'm going to find the spot where it's not really cracked, and I'm going to cut it down right here. And I got some metal here I can cut and make uh, a wedge for it. And if we don't like the handle, we'll just take the handle off and start again. We'll see how it goes. So sit tight. I hope you guys enjoy. All right, y'all. What we're going to start with is I'm going to drill this out. As best I can, and I'm going to knock this post out, and then we're going to get to wire brush from this hammer and see what, if there's any numbers on it, see what pound it is or whatever, or for who makes it, we won't know. But uh, check it on out, and we're going to get into that drilling. Now I got a bit, there's the wedges in the middle, and the bit, you don't want your bit too big to touch that wedge. You'll screw your bit up. Basically what this is doing, I'm just loosening the wood around it so I can kind of knock that wedge out. Alright y'all, I knew that this would come in handy. This is that thing I, uh, Gary gave me, the gentleman with the, with the old tool. So we're going to get a hammer, one of my many. Let's try the old value hammer. Five bucks in the bin sale. pain so oh wow there's writing under here warranted 84 8 we're gonna have to look up that name and that part number so I'm gonna take this thing off here just to make it easier alrighty sit tight y'all and we're gonna get back to this knocking this thing out alright y'all here we go back to the drilling I just cut it flat On that one, I can see through to the floor. That's okay. If we want it, we want to do that. I can just knock that wedge out. I hear I'm hitting it. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can knock that bad boy out. Might be a little shaken. Mm, she's giving me a hassle. All right, I'm gonna just flip it over and tap on the tip of this thing and see what we got here. That might work a lot better. the good part here oh yeah that's gone see ya wouldn't wanna be ya all right y'all we're gonna get at it you could take a, a like a handheld wire brush and uh you know and do it if there's all if there's a lot of thick rust i guess but there's not much on this one so i'm gonna hit it with a brush and see what it looks like sit tight
As you can see, the initial wire brush came out pretty nice. It's nice and shiny. There's pitting, like right there. Here's that name, you guys. If anyone, oops, is it upside down? Backwards, probably, because it's on the camera. It says, what does it say? <laughs> Warren tested. Or what? Well, I'm sorry, jeez, I can't read. Warranted 8 dash. 84-8, yeah, that's it, so maybe it's 8 pounds, that's what I'm thinking, I don't know what the 84 is, but yeah, I mean, there's some pitting on there, I fixed that, there's a little ding right here, but you know what, some guys like to sand them out, I feel like me starting out just doing this, I like to have a little bit of dings in there, it builds a character and it keeps it, you know, what's the word I'm looking for, it keeps it, um, you tell me. Keeps it keeps the character or patina or whatever. I don't know. I just like the dings in it. It tells its story. That's the word I'm looking for. Alright, so I'm gonna hit it with the flap sander or the flap disc, and we're gonna start it. Uh you know, I'm gonna start it at one I want to start it at the 60 grit sand flap to see what happens. Then we'll hit it with the 120. y'all so i did that little bit of cleanup it's shining there's some little pits let's get out the wife's pointer this thing's badass there's little pits here like i said this is with the i didn't sand it with the 60 grit i hit it with the 120 i put that on my grinder by mistake so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna hit it with this 60 grit then i'm gonna um and then we're gonna prep it up to get painted but first, I want to give you all a little history on these warranted tool company. Um, it says here, <clears throat> it says here, uh, and da, 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 1 3 the sale of Warren Tools was finalized. The article notes that the company started in 19 by 11 by James C. Robertson, President M.J. Connell with a K, that's a weird name. Uh, George F. Connell, treasurer and general manager. Um, more or less, on 1921, the company increased its capital stock from $100,000 to $1 million. Five, wow. That's a pretty big jump in six years. And that was like coming in, well, at the 20s, that was right before the Depression, I guess. Um, Mr. Johnson passed away in 1938. Uh, Salem News. So maybe this is in Mass. Maybe it's from Massachusetts. I don't see where they're from. Uh, I don't know how old my hammer is, but that's just a little brief history. Uh, then Warren Tool acquired Cincinnati Tools in 1962. 1973, they acquired Colombian Vice Manufacturers. Uh, they acquired 1974 Ken Dash Tool, Copper Industries. 1980, the company is known as Warren Tool Group. Trademarks and brands are Cut Devil, Hack Devil, Slug Devil. Those are malls, chisels, uh, axes, all sorts of stuff, man. This company's killing it. Anyway, I got one of their hammers, y'all. Anyway, join me in a few days. We're going to prep this bad boy for paint. I'm going to clean her up a little bit more, and then we're going to paint it. So check it out. out. And, uh... We're going to call this one, I don't know what we're going to call it. Uh, let's kind of call it something cool like old school retool. I don't know if there's a person that has that. You know, let me check that right now and make sure that nobody has that name because I'm going to feel like a, a dummy if someone has that on YouTube already. It's kind of a cool name, so I think someone probably already has it. 
So let's see what we got here. I know I'm rambling on y'all, but I want to check this on TV. And if uh, someone has this, we'll see. Why well, type so slow? Old Town Road. Y'all like that song by Little Nas? Oh, I don't know yet. We'll see. Hold on. Nobody comes up with old school retools, so that's what we're going to call it. Season 1, Episode 1, Old School Retools, CC Scrapshaw, Part 1. We'll catch you on the next or Part 2. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you like this content. Thank you for watching.